Well, President-elect Trump's victory in November came as kind of a shock to those at the United Nations. Many of his policies, as you know, are in opposition to the policies of the world body. And that means a potential confrontation is now looming between the new administration and the international diplomats at the U.N. The United Nations is not a friend of democracy. It's not a friend to freedom. It's not a friend even to the United States of America. Donald Trump, clearly no fan of the United Nations. The president-elect's views are at odds with the world body on a variety of pressing issues, from its support of the Iran nuclear deal, climate change initiatives, and resettling refugees. The uh, overwhelming feeling among uh, uh, most members was that Barack Obama was their kind of U.S. president, uh, so I think it will be a different uh, reception. But I think the whole point of the idea of making America great again is to reassert ourselves, especially in bodies uh, like the United Nations. Former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton, who served Republican President George W. Bush and has talked to Mr. Trump about joining the administration, predicts the president-elect will take a hard stance at the U.N. He says the almost $3 billion American taxpayers paid this year alone, the most of any nation, could be cut. I think a good hard look at the U.N. budget uh, is long overdue, and uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if a President Trump once in office uh, does pay particular attention to it. It's total insanity. That was the undiplomatic opinion of Mr. Trump a decade ago when we sat down to discuss the U.N. headquarters' multi-billion dollar renovation. He testified about it to Congress and accused the U.N. of overspending. It is either the most corrupt thing going on in the world, which is saying something, or it's one of the most incompetent things I've ever seen. Mr. Trump has tapped Republican South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley as his choice for U.N. ambassador. She may lack foreign affairs experience, but Martin Edwards, a professor at the School of Diplomacy and International Relations at Seton Hall University, says she will need to hit the ground running. I think there's a lot of day-to-day -day issues that she you know, doesn't know about, right? And the problem is that Nikki Haley is going to face is that many of the other countries' delegates are people that have been there for a very long time. Like her counterpart from Russia has been there for 10 years. A possible preview of what Governor Haley could face as ambassador came this past September in a speech by the U.N. High Commissioner for Human Rights. He compared the rhetoric from Mr. Trump and others whom he called, quote, populist demagogues and clever cheats actually to the pop propaganda of ISIS. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. Look, it's something to watch in the year ahead.